Alright, so I got the toolpath created for this, and I uh, drew it in Master Cam, but there's tons of other stuff nowadays, like Fusion 360. It's really awesome, and so, but we've got it in Master Cam here. Instead of drilling, I'm doing some helical bores. Uh, what this does is kind of doesn't really matter on this HDPE, but for wood and stuff, it helps keep uh, the tool clean instead of just. Uh, a lot of times, this high-speed router bits are meant for just cutting. And so when you do a lot of drilling operations with them, it could dole them up. You need something with a low RPM drill or a high-speed drilling bit. Um, so what you do instead is run these helical tool paths with your standard uh, cutting bit, and you're all good. So anyways, I'll show you a little... Uh, verify this here. See that went through and drilled a bunch of holes. Tons of software like this. This one's real dated, but I've been using it for a while. So we still use it. If it ain't broke, don't break it. Thanks. Got the tool paths here now for the contour. And you can see there's the parts and there's the tool paths, all the different operations for each little part. We'll go ahead and watch the video verify on all of them here. See it run its drill path there. See the bore. Then we're going to do the cutout. Now, I know it seems silly, but I do it in passes to keep these little parts from walking around on you, as well as you're going to have some tabs on them. And I'm using a new operation this time I haven't ever used is the tab cutoff. Uh, we'll see how that works. Usually we don't want parts flying around and stuff, so we just manually cut them off. But uh, if it cuts it off, we'll see how it works. So stay tuned. All right, so first things first is going to be the uh, helical boards for the drilling operation. Okay. perfect part. This HDPE machines really awesomely compared to wood. If you're used to work with wood or other stuff, this stuff is awesome. It comes in black, a couple of colors, a couple of companies online selling it uh, made in a bunch of different colors and textures and stuff. But, so pretty cool stuff. This machine is awesome. So I'll show you the finished part when it's done. Alright, here it is doing the tab cut off. Seems to be okay so far. Alright, so here's the parts cut. I did the tab cut off, so typically you'd have to go take this somewhere and cut the tabs, but you have awesome parts. So now let's see what happens. Maybe we should just be able to grab them out of here. Let's see, here's one that's loose a little bit. Sure enough, there's our part. Already cut the tabs off, so you don't have that annoying step of getting a little tiny parts and fixing them so I'm pretty pleased here let's see what we got <clears throat> compared to the other one here's our busted old 70s piece that a lot of people asked for so we made a new one out of this real awesome plastic and it looks like it matches pretty dang close so, all right we'll drop them off to the customer and I'm glad you guys are able to see that thanks guys see you